is, so hopefully you've all done your story map for your version of the tunnel, but now I would really like you to try and write your story. So up here I've got our I Can Write display, which you're all used to seeing, but I'm going to quickly go through all the features of the story. So our genre is a story or a narrative, and in a story we have story openers. So I've got some examples up here. Long, long ago, once there lived, one sunny day. If you can think any more, shout them at the screen now. <laughs> I heard once upon a time, but I want you to try and use a different one, okay? Great. Then I want you to think about the setting. Where does your story take place and when? I want you to think about the characters. Some of you changed your characters, some of you didn't. Some of you kept with Rose and Jack from the original story and that's okay. If you changed your characters, who are they? Can you describe them? Then the story, we always need a beginning, a middle and an end. So a sequence of events. Remember adjectives and noun phrases. I've got an example up here for you. The dark, gloomy tunnel. Or what kind of word is tunnel? A noun, verb or an adjective? Noun, well done. So what are these two words? Dark and gloomy. Great, adjectives. Remember our noun phrases? I'd like to see some of them in your writing. A range of punctuation. I want to see everybody make sure they use full stops. What comes after a full stop? Capital letter. Punctuation. We have commas. Uh, exclamation mark, not exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Shout it. and your question mark and some of you I would like you to use some speech marks in your writing and then we have sentence starters so things like first next then but I want you to try and think of some other ones we can use so I've got some examples up here for you before long all of a sudden after a while so these are all the things I would like you to try and put into your story so I've written my own version of the story. So I've changed my characters, I've changed my setting, but I've still kept it that they go into a tunnel and they'll go somewhere else. Some of you, I asked you to story map and just change the ending. Some of you, I said you could try and write your own story. So hopefully your story map's a bit different. I'm just gonna go through my story and I've got some things in different colors and they are some of the features of the story that we went through. And I want you just to shout at the screen what feature you think it is. Are you ready? Okay, great. Once there lived a loving young girl called Ray. So I put this in red, once there lived. So that was my story opener. A loving young girl, that was my noun phrase. She lived in a huge wooden tree house on an island surrounded by clear blue water. So I've got huge wooden tree house, my noun phrase. I've underlined on an island because it tells you where the setting is and clear blue sea is another noun phrase. Her next door neighbour and best friend was called Luna. Luna had big blue eyes and was very adventurous. Again, big blue eyes is my noun phrase and my adjectives in description. One day, Ray and Luna decided to go and explore the island. They went for a walk along the soft, sandy beach. Oh, I've got one day in blue there. That is a sentence starter. And soft, sandy beach is another noun phrase in my description. Suddenly, they stumbled upon a dark, damp tunnel. Suddenly again is one of my sentence starters. And dark, damp tunnel of my noun phrase and my description. Now I've got some speech here. Wow, I wonder where it leads to, said Luna. I have no idea, but let's find out, replied Ray. The girls crawled through the tunnel carefully until they reached the other side. That's as far as I've got with my story. So what I would like you to do is once you have story mapped your story, I would like you to try and write it thinking about all the features of a story. I can't wait to read them. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye.